fishing the bass spawn is definitely a favorite for pro angler Greg Hackney. According to Hack, there's no better time of year to catch big fish. In this segment of Louisiana Sportsman TV, Greg breaks down his favorite baits to use during the spawn. You know, basically during the spawn, there's a handful of baits that I use anywhere in the country. It doesn't matter if you're in a marsh, you can be on Toledo Bend, you can be in a Highland Reservoir up there if you have right conditions. One of these baits will work during the spawn. Now today, the key bait has been that vibrating jig. Now this is a half, this bait comes in from a quarter ounce all the way up to a three quarter ounce. So this version right here is a half ounce striking Thunder Cricket. I have a matching blade mount on the back green pumpkin. With the water clarity like it is, we've had some wind today. It's just perfect conditions. I like to get out there and roam around like we did today when you can. Typically, anytime you get the right conditions, even if this is not the best lure to catch them all with, some of them will show themselves. And that was a big thing this morning is we just wanted these fish to, we don't know, we're striking out in a new area. I just needed for one of them to show up. And uh, so we basically dialed in with it and it was actually ended up being you know, one of the better lures for today, for the fish we caught. Um, another lure that's hard to beat during the spawn, and I'm starting with moving lures, is a swim jig. Uh, and, it, and depending on water color, this is a bluegill colored swim jig, and I've got a matching rage crawl. It's actually a candy crawl, rage crawl in the back. It's a great swimming action. And there are certain conditions when those fish are spawning out in weeds and pads and stuff where that bladed jig won't come through it, but they still want something moving. A swim jig is hard to beat. It's just one of those baits that you have to have tied on. Uh, the other cool thing about it is it's still a jig. So if one misses it, I can just, you know, I got the right, I got the same rod in my hand. I can pitch that bait back in there and let that jig go to the bottom and fish it like a regular jig. Uh, but it just serves like the best of both worlds. And again, it resembles a bluegill, which is the number one predator a bass does not want around his nest during the spring. Uh, another lure, which is a little more niche, doesn't work as often as the first two I showed you, is a buzz bait. But again, the cool thing about it is it makes a racket that they don't like. And a lot of times when those big fish are up there spawning, it does something that, you know, it, it, a lot of times you won't catch any male fish on it, you only catch the female. Uh, there's just, she, at certain times during the spawn, they just get in a certain mind frame and it's what they want. So these are all, these are three good moving lures to always have rigged up. Uh, it, you know, if we were fishing around a place that had a lot of dirty water and uh, a lot of stumps and woods, of course I'd have a square bill or maybe even a spinner bait. But in the conditions we got, we're fishing the grass, we're just fishing an expansive grass flat, water shallow, it's clear. These three moving lures are hard to beat to start with. Anytime that water's in that 60 degree range, a couple degrees less, a couple degrees higher. Now, when you get into more serious, sure enough spawning, and you want to guarantee that one of them will bite you, a bottom bait is the deal. Uh, now, depending, like today, you know, when I was flipping, I was flipping a rage bug. And, you know, from back in the day of a lizard, I've always been a big lizard fan, but now they, to me, they got better versions of that. And I think a rage bug, it's a little more compact, it's got a great swimming action. And when those fish want something moving, it's just hard to beat. And the other cool thing about it is I can pitch it in there on that bed and around, and then I can swim it back. And it's, you know, it just has that great swimming action. Now, with that being said, there are certain times on the bed, high blue skies, no wind, maybe a cold front's come through, when those fish don't want any action. But they're still aggressive for anything that's right around the bed, an ocho, it's hard to beat. It's a stick worm. Uh, it can be rig I can rig it Texas rig, or the other cool way to rig it is to rig it wacky, which is to put a, just a, a straight shank hook, a small straight shank hook, and hook it in the middle. And this bait, it's, it, it sinks real slow. It's got just like a dying quiver. Uh, but when those fish aren't wanting a lot and the water's extremely clear, and again, we got great fishing conditions today, but you don't have that every day. And you're gonna go whenever you can, this is almost a, a go-to. This is almost a guarantee out of every lure I'm gonna show you today. This is almost a guarantee if you need a bite during the spawn. Last but definitely not least, one of my favorite lures, especially when you're fishing around big fish on the spawn, and I, I like this for punching mats before the spawn when the water's cold, and once they get on the bed, is a rodent. Uh, it's my number one plastic flipping bait. It's realistically a lot like the Ocho in that it's a guarantee. Now this is a black and blue when I'm holding. I'll match the color to the water. Dark water, I like a dark color. 
light water, water I like a light color. Uh, anything green pumpkin, watermelon red, you know, standard uh, bottom bait colors are hard to beat, but when it comes to catching big fish and they don't want a lot of action, that's probably my number one go-to flipping bait right there during the spawn is a Strike King rodent. Hopefully these tips will help you bag your next big bass during the spawn. Join us here next time on Louisiana Sportsman TV.